the REIT regulations have been introduced in India. All tax issues barring the dividend distribution tax are more or less resolved. Assuming there is resolution on the dividend distribution tax as well, we should see the first read by end 2015 or beginning 2016. What will be of importance will be the valuation and that will be the key to the success of a REIT. Valuations will be triggered at various points during the life cycle of a REIT. At the time of IPO, for periodic reporting which are expected to be 6 monthly or on ad hoc basis in case there are related party transactions, purchase or sale of properties or in case there are material developments which are likely to impact the valuation of the REIT. Valuations are a key to ensure fairness in REIT pricing and to ensure transparency in case of related party transactions. Also valuations are important to ensure the regulatory checks are maintained. For example, the portfolio should be valued at more than 500 crores with at least 80% of the assets being income yielding. The tangible asset valuer plays an important role in the valuation of a REIT. SEBI requires the appraiser to be impartial, true and fair. SEBI also requires that the appraisal agency should have adequate internal controls to ensure integrity of its appraisers and that the appraisers should have the minimum experience and qualification to be able to value a REIT. We in Colliers International have strict quality control measures to ensure that we abide by all of SEBI's guidelines. We are accredited under ISO 9001-2008, which ensures we have a standard operating process. All reports are signed off by the appraiser who undertook the assignment and also by the senior appraiser who reviewed the assignment. All our appraisers go through 12 training sessions every year, whether they are internal or external. All our appraisers are postgraduates and we strictly abide or adhere to RICS and IBS standards. At Colliers, we abide by the RICS guideline, in particular Practice Statement 2, which covers the SEBI required obligations of the appraiser in terms of responsibility of the appraiser, professional and ethic ethical standards, independence, objectivity and conflict of interest, terms of engagement, duty to third party and disclosures. Asset valuation of a REIT is no different from any other valuation. However, a REIT valuation is more demanding in terms of its reporting requirement. The report should be transparent so that the reader, who will typically be a retail investor, can easily make out how did the appraiser get to the final numbers. All variables must be supported by data points and clear explanation provided to any deviations. All disclosures should be clearly mentioned in the report. REITs is a great opportunity for the retail investor. It allows him to make bite-sized investments into the real estate segment and participate with all the benefits that come from this sector. It will improve transparency and corporate governance that is much needed in the real estate segment and the appraiser has a very important role to play in this.